Ahoy! Welcome back to the North! It's NWTK Games and Such, and in today's episode, I am playing Shadowgate 64, Trials of the Four Towers. It just went into the demo mode. I got it upscaled to 1080p, and I'm going to be looking for liminal spaces in this game. This is one of the first games that I just thought... This whole world is empty. I'm just going around looking in rooms and I never ever find anybody. So I think this is a perfect game for a liminal, for a liminal spacing. Uh, so let's space out and look at this game at the best it can. Actually, you can get this at 1080. I'm playing it at 1080p, but you can get it at 4K, but I don't know. I, I don't see too big of a difference from the jump to 4K to 1080p with these N64 games, to be honest. So I'm just going to be playing in 1080p today. We're going to be making a new game, and I remember a good portion of this game. That skull kind of looks a little bit disproportionate in 1080p. But basically, the story of Shadowgate is that I am a traveler, or the main protagonist is a traveler, and then he just... Uh, gets separated from his group and then he has to go and uh, find his way in Shadowgate Keep. Look at those cutscenes. That's 1080p upscaling. Oh, maybe his whole uh, caravan gets destroyed? I thought he got separated, but it looks like he's just. They're just gone, so it's just him left. And there is Shadowgate. It's so weird because you see people and it looks like there's a bunch of people, but no, this is a really great game for liminal spacing if you ask me because most of the time you don't interact with people, you're just in an empty castle. So I think this is uh, going to be an interesting playthrough. My plan today is go as far as the wizard Lakmir. It'll probably take me about 20 minutes to get to him. Maybe sooner, who knows. There's a hay bale right to the side there, and he did not throw me on it. It was just like, nope, you go right on that stone floor. He's hovering slightly, too, when he walks. He's not touching the floor completely, that guy. My dude. And here we are. You glance around at your surroundings. There has got to be a way out of here. Well, I hope so. Oh, I forgot about that. So the right stick is to move, and then the left stick is to view. That is odd. I forgot how odd that is. I'm almost not okay with that. Okay, here's uh, one of the few people you interact with first in the game. And he's snoring. The man appears to be asleep. Shall you disrupt him? Yes! Hey, hmm, how should I do this voice? Hey, a newcomer and a halfling to boot. My name's Agar. I'm a magician. What's your name? Del? You say? I wish I could greet you under better circumstances. Hmm, traveling with a trade caravan when you were beset by thieves? You're lucky that you're still alive, Del. 
Ah, lucky indeed. You hear a rustling at the door to your cell. I hear people screaming is what I hear. Time to eat, halfling. Oh wait, that's the guard. Oh wait, time to eat, halfling. Enjoy it while you can. It may be your last. I've heard the tortures. Tortures shall start tomorrow. I don't know why they waste time on you. If I had my way, I would have thrown you in the sewers long ago. It's a shame to waste good food on someone like you. Ah, uh, pay no attention to him, my friend. What's that? Why, you're within a castle. Castle Shadowgate, to be exact. The legendary center of magic for all of Kaltorn. Kaltorn's the land this is taking place in. Bah! It's nothing but a hunt for thieves and treasure seekers now. You see, but a magician, the magic items made by the sorcerer Lakmir are said to be hidden here. Some say they can be found in the four towers. Oh, crap. These towers have been sealed by magic. Nobody can get in. Believe me, I've tried. That's why I'm here. In, that's why I'm in here. I tried to break the wards and hurt some thieves. I can tell you they are not too happy with me right now. I did enough talk. I need to conserve my strength. It shall come for me soon. Poor guy. He's just chilling out. He's just defeated. Well, not me. I'm going to get out of Shadowgate because I know how. The way to beat Shadowgate is to look up game FAQs. Just kidding. No, it's not like 2010. Back in the day when I used to uh, look up or these kind of games you kind of need to walk through for. Unless you know what you're doing. Which I kind of remember. Like you have to pick up that bone. But these controllers are crazy. This is even harder than uh, Resident Evil controls. Because they're tank controls. But they're also opposite sticks from the tank controls. So... Tank controls I'm used to, but this is inverted from that. Floor on the straw. Do you want to move the straw aside? Yes, I do. After a while, I forget that this is even in 1080p. It still just looks like N64 graphics to me. Shall you open the lid? Yes. Uh, you failed the budget there. You must be a way to pry it open. Oh yeah, that's right. I need to uh, use this. The cover opened. You can see the dark waters of the sewer below. Well, Dell, let's start going down there. Look at that liminal space. You shake the putrid water from the clothes as you look around the dank sewers. Now, I know I need to get this bar here. If I could just navigate. Oh my god, I'm so bad at these controls. The iron bars are quite rusty. If you want to try a pry one loose, yes I do. Now there's a bunch of stuff on the floors that don't look like things. Like, if you're not... Well, I don't think anybody's gonna ever come and play this game, but... When, uh... You don't... Here's the map. Look how... Now in 1080p, you can kinda see it better. Oh, a ghost. An apparition. An apparition appears. It seems very agitated, but you can't understand the ghost. And also, Dell had such a... Petite scream there, let's call it. 
Okay, uh, here's the map I need. You found an ancient map. Would you like to take the parchment? Of course I would. Basically, the whole time you're in this castle, you're just stealing everything you see. If it's not nailed down, you just take it. That's the key to uh, leaving Shadowgate, is by being a thief. But uh, you'll soon learn that everybody... Oh, this is such a tease. This is one of those early game things where you think you can get this, but to this day, from my knowledge, there's no way to get that bottle. I've come back multiple times with multiple different items from the game, because you collect items, and I've tried every single one of them. Maybe I haven't, but it just seems like you cannot get that bottle. It's such a tease, though. You'll just have to live with just never knowing what that does. Like I have. Okay, I'm starting to get the, the hang of these controls here. Okay, uh, it's best to save now, just because uh, that is a, you, I can dive from just the water, so. Here's the other thing too that I, I need later on that is easy to miss, because it just looks like a rock or something. Look at this spot, huh? Doesn't that seem like a liminal space right there? Yeah, there's never anybody. This door is locked, so there's no point in touching it. Here's what I need. If I can just look down. An ancient pickaxe lays this card upon the ground. Yes, I'll take that. sure this door's locked, actually. It's gonna be locked. As hard as you might try, you discover it's locked and can't get it. The only thing I needed from over here was the pickaxe. This game does look a lot better, actually, in 1080p. I'm glad that I was able to upscale it before, because I was gonna just play this game in uh, its original resolution. I'm glad I looked at the tutorial how to uh, not do that. Big brain moment uh, when I thought of that. I remember video game donkey talking about uh, upscaling GoldenEye in 64, and I thought, okay, well, I wouldn't mind doing that with some other games, and this was the first game I thought of. Weird, eh? Not like Conker's Bad Fur Day, not... Um, I don't know, there's so many good N64 games. Uh, this is Legend of Zelda. It was Shadowgate 64 was the first game I thought. Let's play this game in 1080p. That's such a stupid thing. He uses the pickaxe to get up. Ugh. Okay, whatever. It's just the game mechanic. ceiling and collapses. You should have been a miner. I love that uh, suspenseful uh, ambient noise. I remember playing this for the first time and thinking like, okay, I'm bound to start seeing people again. Oh. For the most part, it's just ghosts for a while, which is okay with me, but it adds to the feeling of I'm the only one around here, other than this little mouse. I don't want to see the mouse. I can't interact with it. Uh, I think I need a spindle in here. I am 
struggling with these controls. There's that spindle. this room boggling me because uh you have to come back to this room later on in the game yes i want to take the fairy statue and then this i think that's the only thing i need but yeah eventually i have to come back in this room there is this but I can't grab this. I'll sh it says, a single slipper. Will you take it? Sure. You can't take the slipper. Some unseen force holds it to the table. All right. Well, isn't that eerie? When I wasn't a child when I played this. I was like, uh, I only played this a couple of years ago. So I don't have like a big ominous remembrance of uh, playing this as a, a kid. <laughs> but... Regardless, I bet this would have freaked me out when I was a, a, a young lad because something about being alone in video games, it was just too eerie for me. Like This kind of setting uh, kind of triggers that uh, canopsia feel, which is what the, the liminal spacing um, uh, does for the most part. Okay, I'm starting to see the difference now in 1080p upscaling now. This this is starting to look more like... Okay, yeah. That does look a bit better. What a splendid entrance. No doubt about it. This is one of the four towers. A little cat. I thought that was a mouse at first, but no, that I can... From it being in 1080p, I could see that that was a cat. Hmm. Look at this room. Okay, well... Here, this is where we, this is why we came here, is to look at liminal spaces. Look at that. Majestic. Let's look at it from a different angle now. Let's, uh, add, let's go over here in this angle and stare for a while. Yeah, look at that. Yeah, if you haven't noticed, I'm trying a little bit harder for uh, that liminal space uh, <laughs> uh, stuff these days. Uh, it's uh, kind of blowing up, so why not try to be a part of it? So here's me looking at liminal spaces in Shadowgate in 1080p, and I plan on doing more of it, so definitely join me more. I'm basically at Lackmere now. Let's talk to him, and that's going to be a game play for today. Uh, the next episode, I will definitely have to look at more liminal spaces in this game, for sure, because there's some good ones. This is just only the beginning. But let's uh, talk to Lachmere. Ah, oh, Traveler. Ah, oh, the Traveler. <clears throat> I'm so bad at this already. Damn. I want I want Lachmere to have a, a vo an interesting voice here. Ha. Ah, oh, Traveler. The Traveler arrives. The, the Traveler, Nell. Cottonwood, to be exact. To be exact. To be exact. Who am I? Who? Who am I, halfling? And how do I know your name? My name is Lackmere. I am a sorcerer. This is such a bad Lackmere voice. This tower is where I train my disciples. He's starting to have a, a southern draw. I don't need. I don't want that. You're not here for training, eh? Which way does the road win for you? Wine for you, Del. Which will you follow? The white path is easy, but it leads to death. The narrow is hard, but it leads to life. If you choose the narrow. Then seek me in the next tower, the Tower of Lachmere. 
If you choose the Y, then you are not the one that I have waited for. I will be there, Halfling. The question is, will you? Ooh, I've never noticed Lackbeard had blue eyes before. See, the... Oh, man. Upscaling video games is so cool. I gotta do more of this stuff. Okay, well, that's a gameplay today. Thanks so much for joining me. Follow me on all the social medias. Check out this video. And we'll see you for another exciting adventure tomorrow. I'm not sure if this will be another gameplay, but I will be returning to Shadowgate sooner than later. Uh, actually, no, I think I'm working on the Igloo tomorrow.